Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. What I've got here today is I'm going to be installing a Navigator Central Locking System for a BMW R1200RT. This one will be installed on a 2018 model. If you're not sure what these are, is for whatever reason, BMW released these 1200RTs without a way to lock your GPS into the bike. However, they did make it a way for you to lock it in the 1600s, but for whatever reasons, the R1200RTs, you can't. Whenever you turn your bike off, you have to take the G you have to remember to take the GPS off with you, otherwise it can easily be stolen. Now, if you search the web, you could actually find a lot of different ways that people have circumvented this. Anywhere from cheap little locks that they've drilled into the bike and installed it so that it would lock your GPS into it, all the way up to integrated units like this one by Old Timers, where you actually mount it and wire it into the current bike system. And when you lock your bike or unlock your bike, it will also lock and unlock your GPS so that it can or cannot be removed. This is the route that I went ahead against, went ahead and went with because of the fact that it's a lot cleaner. You cannot tell once this thing's installed, you actually can't see it. There's no, it's not visible, no nothing. I don't have to drill into the bike. I don't have to drill no holes, no nothing. All you do is just use your lock and unlock button on your bike and it'll lock the GPS and it'll unlock the GPS. Of course, it's going to be more expensive than some of the other routes that you can go, like I said, using just little locks, drilling a hole into the bike and installing the lock that way. But this way, I like, like I said, I like it a lot more because this one is a lot cleaner. And this one, as you can see, is made by Old Timers. And their website is www.oldtimers.si. All right, now go ahead and start installing this onto the bike and let's see how it goes. Now to install this, you are going to have to remove the top. You can have four screws here. Once you remove these screws, these pieces come off, and then you'll have more screws under here that will need to come off. And then you will have another screw underneath here that will come off on both sides. Once you've removed those two, you've got that screw and that screw that will come off. Once you do that, this front piece under this windscreen will come off, and that's where you'll mount your um, integrated lock and in order to do the wiring you would also have to remove the side panel as well all right let's go ahead and get started on that now to remove the windscreen and the side panels you will need a, a star lock t25 like this one right here you can see it's got the star pattern on the tip of it and this is the t25 This piece comes off. And then you got two more here. Once these two come off, you'll be able to take the windscreen off. Now with the windscreen off, you got two screws in here you're going to need to remove, in which case you have to turn it on. And 
Now from here, you got a screw right here, one more under here. Let's remove this one. You can see it's a, it's a plastic plug that comes out. Took a little bit of effort, but it finally came out. And there, you, this would pop up, as so. Now what you see is under here. Let's see. Now under here is where the old timers is gonna mount. It'll mount on this part right here. Now you got little rubber grommets here. Sometimes it might come off and still be on here, in which case just take it off of this and just stick it back in there where it belongs. All right. Now you'll see is that this one that I have here is a little bit different than what it looks like on the website. The reason is this is the one that they designed for the US market because ours has the Sirius radio and this is where it wouldn't actually stick to it on this little plate. Otherwise, if you don't have the Sirius radio, antenna this they'll ship it without this piece on here and as you can see here there is the antenna for the Sirius radio I'm probably gonna have to put this down What, they, what he'll do is these little pieces here will actually fit over those on either side. Yeah. And I can't do this with one hand, so I'm actually going to put this back down again, and I'll show it to you when I'm done. just like this. here it fits right inside those grommets it is a tight fit and it slides right in here
I don't know how well you can see that on the on the video. But this is where your serious radar will put will be actually the adhesives on the inside so it'll fit on the inside so It's on here adhesive, so I'm gonna go ahead and get something to scrape it off. I'm gonna try to scrape this serious antenna off of the motorcycle. It's held on by adhesive, so it's on there pretty good. Just a little extra stuff you got to do if you've got the US version. Okay, the adhesive is off. And you'll basically mount the Sirius radio onto the bottom of the old timers. As you'll see here, you got adhesive strips. Don't have much room to play here, so you got to be careful. Don't have much room at all. Like hardly anything. Okay, now let's go ahead and take the side off. Now to take the side off here. I don't know how you can see it, but you got a screw right here. And you have another screw right here that needs to come out.
this off, it should pop off. There we go. Now what you're gonna do here, you'll actually wire it. You'll unplug this wire and it'll plug into that central locking unit and then the locking unit will plug right back into here again. How to do that? You're gonna have to wire, run the wiring up and under here. Okay, here it is. Go ahead and power this bike off real quick. Next. Said we'll go ahead and remove this one. Plug it into here. Okay, it's clipped in. Then this one goes right back up here again. There we go. They did provide some cable ties. So you can tie this down. Turn power back on. Okay, so right now it's unlocked. As you can see here, press the button. And as you can see, it's moving this and pushing that up. It moves this in, and that goes up. That's unlocked. Now, press the button, you can see, now this is locked. And now, nothing. You can't push it in anymore. Go ahead and unlock it. 
So now it's unlocked. And here again. Now it works. Alright, let's go ahead and power it back off while I reassemble everything now. Now you got these, these two spots here, just goes, pops it right back into that place. Two little notches here, forgot about that. They actually slide into the two little notches here. Put that in, and then you push it in. Okay. Now I just gotta screw those two back in. All right, and the side panel's back on. Now we need to go ahead and reinstall the top. Before you do that, you can go ahead and try to do a little bit more cable maintenance here. Put the original cables back down where it belongs. Another cable tie will tie that up. Raise his arms back up again. You gotta make sure your cables are out of the way and try to put this back together again. 
And you gotta try to get these two notches back in the hole where they belong as well. Slight change from what it is, since this is the US version and not the European version. So, this plate right here is what the Sirius was originally resting on. If you leave the plate in, you can't fit this back on because it hits the plate, so the plate has to come back off. So, take the plate off, and with this off, it should fit on it now. Test the lock before I tie it up. So right now it's unlocked. Now it's locked. There it is. Okay, it's going. I'll go ahead and power it off right now so I finish putting this back together again. I'm just looking under to make sure I don't have any cables pinched between this and the bike. And I'm making sure the, the notches are all in place where it's supposed to be. I didn't see any cables being pinched, so it should be fine. All right. Now we'll go ahead and put the screws back in, the plastic ones. I'm going to turn it back on so I can raise this up. You want to be careful because these are plastic. You don't want to strip it. Okay, at this point I'm actually gonna stop for a few minutes. And I'm going to take this opportunity to clean the bike in spots where I normally wouldn't be able to clean it, like down here, up here. Clean the windshield, and then I'll recontinue with the rest of the assembly as soon as I'm done cleaning. Alright. Went ahead and did a real quick wipe down of the bike. Now let's go ahead and reassemble it again. I went ahead and put these two screws in already. I got ahead and reinstalled these two.
one more double check on it. Again, unlocked. Now it's locked. All right, and that is how you install the Navigator Lock by Old Timers. And again, their website is www.oldtimers.si. And the only thing you have to remember is if you've got the USA version, that one plate that the Sirius radio is mounted on, you actually have to remove it. If you leave it on, then you won't be able to put you won't be able to put that piece this piece back on again. This piece will not fit on it with the Sirius radio plate on it. So you got to take this off. And this has been the video for the navigation lock install on a 2018 BMW R1200 RT. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was useful to some of y'all. And y'all have a good day.